yeah, this doesn't look like England. Um, where am I? So, um, yeah, I'm not in England for this video. Probably, I think, actually, it's like the second time on this channel that I haven't been in England. But um, I'm on Menorca right now, actually doing my diving qualifications. But in between doing that, I'm going to be looking for some cool animals, the usual. And today we're going to be looking for the Egyptian vulture. Wow, um, found a cool cave with some, I think this is people trying to look like it's some like ancient thing, but paintings and stuff around. But I just walked a bit further in and there's tons of flies, so I'm not going that way. Who said searching with, for animals? It was easy. Jesus. Oh. I mean, it's not bad when you got this view, hey? There. Not the easiest of paths. And not only is it, well, the cliffs are not the easiest path, but it's boiling hot. And we're on the side of the cliff where the sun, so it's no shade for me. So we think we've just seen a vulture. Shows, well, there's loads of gulls around here and they look, then coloration and size quite similar. But hopefully it was a vulture and I've oh, got the camera out. Hopefully we'll get some shots of it. Oh, it's very hot. It's been a very long walk along the beach, so definitely need some shade, water, and a nice sit down. So even though we're looking for vultures right now, we're down by this little marsh and we found a European pond turtle, which I've currently got the big camera on filming that. But he's half buried in the water right now, so not the best shot. It keeps popping his head up. So, well, if I've got any good footage, I'll show it for you now. can't see it but just down here there is a wall lizard uh, let's see if I can position where you can see it oh there he is running down there let's see if I move a bit quicker so he's gonna move but you'll see that then see him little wall lizard oh there he goes <laughs> but we do actually get those lizards at home in England but they're an invasive species and mainly just found down on the south coast but there's hardly any of them so they're quite hard to find there but if you want to see them, come here. There's tons of them. All right, so it's day two of trying to find these vultures and literally just got to this spot, which all nice cliffs down in this gorge. And I stopped just to take a look. There was one sat right up on top of the cliff and Set the camera up as quickly as possible. So I don't know how good the clips are because well, with the heat rising, you get like the ripples and so it's not too clear, but you can make out it's a vulture. And currently it's up here doing circles and everything, but just slightly too high up for the camera to like really pick it out in the sky. So getting some shade down here and just waiting, see if it gets a bit closer and I can get some better shots. 
But also, just up the path here, there's also a place called Covidas Columns, which is an ancient burial grounds in a big cave. So I'm gonna film that too. But we finally got the vultures. It's, it's boiling, but worth it. After all this effort and all the sweat from trying to find this, oh, it's amazing to finally find it and everything. And I don't care at this point if the shots are bad or anything, because I got it. It's taken so much effort to try and find them. Like we've got clip, quick glimpses every so often, but actually getting close to one now, it's amazing. Oh, Egyptian vultures, another one took off the list. After that quick yet awesome glance at that Egyptian vulture there, let's move on to Covides Columns or Columns Cave and have a look at that shall we. steps carved into the cliff here. I think we should have a look. Now this is one an amazing view but also an awesome vantage point for finding the vultures trying to get closer and better shots because well I'm at their height. <laughs> wow this is stunning up here. 